Let's say that you want to install solar panels on your house. How much is that going to save you on your electric bill each month? Well, a big part of the benefit of solar panels depends on something called net energy metering, or net metering for short. Net metering basically just means that you get to sell any extra energy you produce back to the utility company or back to the grid. To get a better understanding of what net metering actually means, I want to step through a quick example. So I want to do this by comparing what a typical household's energy consumption might look like compared to what it's producing from its solar panels. So let's just sketch a quick graph right here. We'll draw our y-axis here and we'll call this energy. We've got an x-axis down here and we'll call this time of day. Okay, so first energy consumption. So your energy consumption throughout the day in a house might look something like this. Say you wake up in the morning, energy consumption goes up, you might leave for work and it goes down a little bit, and jumps back up when you come home in the evening. Okay, so what is this telling us? This is basically each point along this curve is the number of kilowatt hours that you've consumed during that particular time of day. So you might be running your refrigerator at night and you're consuming a little bit of energy here. Um, and then when you wake up, you turn on some lights, you take a shower and running the hot water. Uh, so your energy use starts to climb. And so this is basically a profile of the energy that you're using throughout the day. Okay, so let me just put a quick label on here so we don't forget that this is our energy consumption. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens with the solar energy production throughout the day. Uh, and before we go on, I'm just going to make some quick labels here so we know that this is midnight, 12 a.m. And somewhere around here we have noon, 12 p.m. And so we've got our morning here and our afternoon here. Okay, so... At nighttime, at midnight, there is no solar production, which makes sense. There's no sun at that time. But then as the sun begins to rise, we start to produce some solar energy. And our solar energy production goes up something like this. Okay. So what we can start to see here, though, is that we have different, different regions. And... So in this part here, all of our energy is coming off of the grid. This is what we're purchasing from the utility company. Now, as we start to produce the solar energy, we don't need to purchase as much energy from the grid. So all of this solar energy here is reducing what we actually have to buy off the utility company. So this is all, all this here is still grid energy that we're purchasing, but we're offsetting part of it. Now, the amount that we offset, though, continues to rise as the solar energy production increases. And eventually, it gets to this point here where our solar energy production actually exceeds the amount that we are consuming. So at this point, we're producing more energy from our solar panels than we can actually consume. We have this excess energy here. So what actually happens to this excess energy? Well, it could just go to waste, but more typically what happens is it goes back onto the grid where the utility can use it to serve customers elsewhere on its system. But the utility doesn't get this energy for free. And this is where net metering comes in. In states that have net metering, the utility is required by law to purchase excess energy from the customer. Now there are certain restrictions usually on how much energy the utility is 
uh, required to purchase, but the effect is basically the same. The customer gets a big benefit by being able to actually sell energy back to the grid. Now, just to complete our graph here, our solar production will eventually start to decline as the sun goes down and eventually goes down to zero as the sun sets. And we basically just run into the same kind of situation that we had before, where we have some solar energy here that is helping to offset the amount of energy shown in blue here that we purchase from the grid. So at first our solar energy is reducing the grid energy we purchase and eventually when the sun goes all the way down we have no choice but to purchase energy from the grid. But just to recap here the important point of net metering is that during this time when you have excess energy being generated the customer who has the solar installed on their home gets to benefit by selling that excess energy back to the utility company.